Hey friends, today I'm coming on with a haul from a couple of places. I have a small business Instagram D stash haul from Monty, who is the polka dot pine cone. I have um, some items from the recent Echo Park warehouse sale, and then I have a few items from the Dollar Tree. So let's start with my D stash from Monty. I just picked up two items from her. Um, she had the Maggie Holmes Market Square puffy stickers, and I purchased this collection because it had the horses on it, and I'm going to be making an album some point in time for um, pictures of me and my son and Ginger, so I picked up the puffy stickers to go with that because I love that it has the horses and the award ribbons on here since he does show so I picked that up from her and she also sent over a little free gift a little thank you gift and there are these little puffy mermaid tail shakers there we go and one in that really pretty mint and one in pink and they have the little star sequins inside so you can put a little hole in an eyelet and make this a dangle or you could just add this onto a project so thank you for the extras so next I'll share my Echo Heart Echo Park haul and I'm just going to set the box aside. So it came with this little brochure. You could say 15% off your next order. And it talks about all the new collections they have, like the Pooh, Sunflower Summer, Summer Vibes, Have a Nice Day, which looks really fun and retro, Stars and Stripes Forever, and a Magical Voyage Collection. And let's take the trip. So bunches of new collections that they sent that along. And then I ordered um, the set this aside. I ordered the witches and wizards collection kit so there are two of these I thought that I had ordered both but I must have just ordered one um I think the the papers were pretty similar other than a few things um so this is kind of loosely based on Harry Potter of course it doesn't say Harry Potter but you've got you know your books you've got the house colors you've got the owls you've got all of the different supplies um so I'm working on a little album for our trip to Universal and then me and my son would be going back and so I just want to keep all of those pictures in one place and I have a bunch of other Harry Potter stuff to mix in with this. So you get um, 12 12 by 12 double sided papers and the 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. The collection kits were warehouse sale for $7.99. And we'll do a quick flip through. So here is the sticker sheet. So I love that you have the owls. I see you have like the castle. And you've got like the spell books and things. And these are cardstock stickers. And then the pages are double-sided. So you have the witch's hat, the Gryffindor colors, the house flags, Ravenclaw. You've got your letters to Hogwarts. And I'm assuming this is supposed to be Hufflepuff. Then you have cut aparts here. And 
in like the starry background. This one has Spellbound, Wands, Adventure, Potion, Mischief, Wizards, Wizard Spells. And no, oh, this is Hufflepuff. So I'm not sure. Maybe the other one is just like a cross. Because this is definitely Hufflepuff. Um, this reminds me of the colors of Gryffindor. But so not sure about this one. But we've got that. We've got the book, so all of your different school books and spell books. We've got this burgundy with the stars. You've got the paper here, a magical story, wand shop, joke shop. And this one is just got this like kind of decorative pattern in the burgundy. Another cut apart here. And here we have Slytherin. We have the floating candles. The kind of tan with the, the moon and the stars. We have the owl, represent of all of the different owls and Hedwig. We have this golden with the lightning bolts or the scar. This one has the broom, the potion books, the cauldrons, the witch's hat, the wands, the letters. And then we have this paper. Another cut apart sheet. And this one has blue with the moons. So that is this paper collection. So I think it goes really well with Harry Potter. And then I ordered the ephemera for the collection. And you get 33 die cut pieces. Some are frames. Some are like tags. You've got your letter, magic with the house colors, wizards and witches. So super fun. Pack your bags for magic. All right, so these are the houses. Knowledge and Wisdom is Ravenclaw. Uh, Power and Loyalty is Slytherin. Valor and Bravery is Gryffindor. And Kindness and Hard Work is Hufflepuff. So some of these match the stickers, and some of them are a little different. You've got some little circle ones with the moon and the pumpkin. You've got a banner that spells out magic in the house colors. Believe. Oh, my first wand. And so that is the ephemera. I'm going to stick this back in the bag really quick so I don't lose any of these pieces. So I like how everything is coordinating to the paper and the stickers. Then I ordered an extra sticker sheet as well. Just because I didn't want to feel like I needed to kind of cord the stickers. So the ephemera pack was $2. No, I'm sorry. The ephemera, yeah, the ephemera pack was $2, and the extra sticker sheet was $2. Then my son had gotten me the first responder kit for Mother's Day, um, the paper kit, so I ordered another sticker. Um, these, again, were $2, and the ephemera packs were $2 as well. So I bought the frames and tags and the ephemera for that. So I am working on him an album to keep all of his journey as an EMT 
And let's see, this one has some really small pieces. So we're going to just look at the picture on the back there. They've got some very tiny pieces that I don't want to lose. So this has police and firefighter um, and like EMT and kind of doctor people. Um, I would love to find a collection that was strictly for um, paramedics or EMTs, but it, it's really, you find so much stuff with fire trucks and police, but you just don't find a lot of stuff with rescue, and that makes me sad. And then the ephemera, we have, I like this eat, sleep, serve, repeat. So I'll still mix in some of the fire and the police because he does work closely with them when he goes on calls and things. Um, so, yep, that is my haul from Echo Park. Um, the warehouse sale is over, but I know they do this sale a lot. So I'll set this aside, and this is everything from Echo Park. And then I'll share really quick the couple of items that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Very few little items. But I did find these new coin envelopes. And these are perfect for junk journaling or um, sending little die cuts or little pieces in a swap. And they are like a craft paper material. If I can get one out, I'll show you guys. And this one is two... 2.24 by three and a half. You get 30 pieces. Um, it does have a little spot here where you can close it, but you can add brads to close it. So this one's pretty small, but I think this is perfect for adding little tuck spots in junk journals or mini albums. Then they have 20 pieces of the 3.2 by 4.5. And you get 15 pieces of the three and a half by six and a half. Um, so these are already made up for you. You could cover these with decorative paper if you wanted to. There's so many different things you can do with these. So I did pick up those three items from the Dollar Tree. And then down the beauty aisle, I just happened to see this makeup sponge with case and now I'm not big into makeup or anything but I can use the sponge for stamping and blending and things so I'll just add that with my stamps but the reason I picked this up I wish they had had more colors but I picked this up for this cute little coffee cup so it's like a little mini coffee cup it does have air holes in the bottom and in the top, so you wouldn't really be able to use this for a sequence mix unless you cover this. Like, you could cover this with, like, paper or something and still be able to use it, put paper in the bottom. Um, but I picked this up to use as a little trinket box, so I think what I'm going to do is cover this bottom part with some fun paper. Um, they only had the gray, but I picked up the gray because I thought that would be perfect for winter or even Halloween. Um, so I did pick up one of those, but it's meant to hold your little sponge in here, like so. But I thought it was such an adorable little coffee cup that I could alter and use as a trinket box. So that is everything for my haul, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and I will... Um, link the Echo Park website down below in the description box for you and I'll also share uh, Monty's Instagram because she does a lot of D stashes. I will link that down in the description box for you as well. Alright guys, have a wonderful day. Bye!